Jamie Warrington Grace loves her sport. Netball, tennis, cross country. Go, go, go! But after she got COVID in April, everything changed. Very dramatically, it slowed down a lot and become um, a bit more boring. I'm not going to school, not doing any of my sports, not doing any running, just relaxing and waiting for long COVID to go. That's right, at just 15 years old, Jamie has long COVID. My symptoms have been lightheadedness, dizziness, getting exhausted throughout the day really easily. So long COVID symptoms may not emerge immediately. Some of the symptoms that might trigger off, say, a month after infection could be generally the, the fatigue. It's always looking out for that fatigue. Five months since getting COVID, Jamie's life is still on hold. It was such a dramatic change in lifestyle from a girl who's really energetic and bubbly and just goes for everything and tries her hardest to becoming someone who's just really a shadow of herself. I can really only do about an hour a day of school. It's just too much for me. Um, I get really tired and then I can't focus and I don't remember what I read either, so it's a bit annoying. And getting support can be as frustrating as the virus itself. I think the hardest thing is just finding the information. The first thing we did was log on to the long COVID website, which was started in the UK, and now there's one in New Zealand, and that's where we found out a lot of information. Larissa Hockey runs that support group here. Parents are really worried. They're, they're scared, they're isolated. They've got children who are chronically sick. We've got children ranging in age from toddlers to 18-year-olds. Exactly how many kids have long COVID isn't clear. The Ministry of Education doesn't record the number of students absent with it, and the Ministry of Health is only starting to get some data, asking doctors around the country to record how many of their patients have symptoms. Overseas, where COVID has raged for longer and harder, a slightly clearer picture is emerging, with estimates that anywhere between 3 and 10% of kids suffer from long COVID. Doctors treating kids with COVID say they're noticing a new trend. More and more are suffering long-term effects weeks and months later. There are currently 117,000 children in the UK with long COVID. But there, as it is here, the only recommendation is to rest. It's a difficult outlook in the context of how long does this illness last. Your best chance of recovery is to rest until, you know, we, we have better advice than that. They have told us that they don't know much about it because it's so new and it's only really been here for three years. So um, they just say you've got to wait and rest up and just wait until it's gone. so tricky and so isolating. If you think that someone in your family, one of your kids has got long COVID, obviously your first stop is the doctor. Uh, but the next is this fantastic website, longcovidkids.org, where you can find support and as much information as there is out there at the moment. Uh, so go check it out. And Jamie, thanks so much for sharing your story with us. Yeah.